As Russian invasion of Ukraine continues, let's take a look at how the situation is developing in Donetsk. Russian state television has released footage of what it claims was the village of Novo Troitsky. The village is located in Donetsk region of Ukraine. Russian media say the village has been liberated by separatists. The video shows military convoys with the letter Z painted on vehicles. The sign intends to quickly identify military units and help troops distinguish friend from foe amid combat. The Z sign is believed to be used by the Russian military. Meanwhile, the city of Volnovaha has been taken over by Russian forces. Residents of the city are now trying to come to terms with the Ukrainian town being controlled by Russian-backed forces. The town holds strategic significance. It has witnessed some of the heaviest fighting. Residential buildings and streets have been destroyed by artillery fire. Хотели выйти гуманитарными коридорами, украинская власть не выпускала, просто не выпускала. Просили выпустить хотя бы детей, стариков, женщин, никого не выпустили. А утром уже проснулись, уже все, уже была Донецкая республика. Meanwhile, Ukrainian President Zelensky delivered slammed or slammed the Russian move. In an address, he mentioned that occupiers in the Kherson region are trying to repeat the sad experience of the formation of pseudo-republics, adding that Ukraine and its people will not cower and will withstand the challenge. Відбулось екстрене засідання Херсонської обласної ради. 44 депутати ухвалили рішення, що Херсонщина – це Україна. І жодним псевдореспублікам там не місце. Україна вистоїть у цьому випробуванні. Нам потрібен час, нам потрібні сили, щоб переломити військову машину, яка прийшла на нашу землю. Не буду. In a fresh hope amid this raging conflict, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said on Saturday that Russia is now adopting a fundamentally different approach in talks to end the ongoing war. During a media briefing on Saturday, Zelensky said that Moscow's latest approach is in complete contrast to the earlier talks at which Russian delegation only issued ultimatums. Група а, українців і російських а, представників, вони обговорюють ті чи інші питання. Зараз вони почали про щось говорити, а не кидати тільки ультиматуми. Я вважаю, що це принципово а, інший підхід, і він повинен і має бути таким. Я вважаю, що в ньому поки що недостатньо залучення а, наших західних партнерів, лідерів, тому що якщо ми говоримо про пункти щодо гарантії безпеки нашої держави, то просто довіряти Росії в Україні вже не зможуть. Putin has also indicated a positive shift in their dialogues with negotiations now being held on an almost daily basis. Russian and Ukrainian negotiators have held several rounds of talks since Russia invaded the country. Turkey on Thursday hosted the first talks between the Russian and Ukrainian foreign ministers since the invasion. The talks might have not paused the fighting, but it has surely opened several humanitarian corridors to evacuate civilians from the war zone. Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett, meanwhile, spoke to Zelensky on Saturday to discuss the latest on ground developments in the region. Now, according to Israel's Prime Minister's office, the conversation lasted more than an hour and dealt with ways to end the fighting in Ukraine. The call came after Zelensky earlier proposed that Israel holds a ceasefire talks between Ukraine and Russia in Jerusalem. Ми в цілому позитивно відносимось, я особисто позитивно відношусь до посередництва будь-кого, але я не називаю пана Бенета будь-ким, тому що вважаю, що він може зіграти важливу роль. Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuleba meanwhile said on Saturday that his country is open to the negotiation to the negotiations but would not surrender or accept any ultimatums to end the conflict. Of course, this doesn't exclude the track of diplomacy and the need to talk and to find, find solutions. But uh, as President Zelensky said on a number of occasions, uh, we are ready to negotiate, but we are not going to accept any ultimatums and surrender.
All these developments came as French President Emmanuel Macron and German Chancellor Olaf Scholz had fresh, held fresh talks with Russian President Vladimir Putin. Macron and Scholz reiterated their call for cessation of violence. The three leaders also spoke last week on Thursday when both Macron and Scholz demanded an immediate ceasefire by Russia. We Earn is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.